Hello everyone, Alicia here with a haul. This is a pretty big haul, not what I'm showing you right here. This is actually just one store. This is Super One. I went in and just got a few items, mainly my turkey here that was pretty good price, at least the best price around here. But anyway, I went to two different stores, Super One and Albertsons, all in preparation for Thanksgiving and the next couple weeks the stuff that I've got planned to be making. I typically try to shop for about two weeks and that's what this is. And as I go through what I got, I will kind of mention what I'm gonna be making. And then at the end, I will show you what I'm planning on filming, the recipes I'm gonna be making that I don't already have on my channel. And then I also have a couple things that I'm making this week that I already do have on my channel. So I'll mention those as well. And I will link those down below if you wanna check those out. But let me jump in to the Super One haul real quick. So first off, I got two bricks of the Third Less Fat Cream Cheese. I've been buying the cream cheese, light cream cheese in the tubs because it's a little lower in points, but this stuff was like 88 cents and you cannot beat that. That is a really good deal. So there was a limit of two for 88 cents. So I got two of those. And then the butter was on a pretty good deal too, $1.98 limit two. So I got two. Picked up some of this Seattle sourdough, and this is a sandwich round. Got this for my son. He's been, well, he always loves sourdough. He's loved sourdough forever, but I've been making him breakfast sandwiches out of sourdough, so got him that. Then also for him, and that was not, that was not on sale, but I'd run out of sourdough. Also for him on sale, got him a couple pepperoni pizza Lunchables, and then the cheese. Back here, got some coffee mates, the peppermint mocha. We love that flavor. So every time this year, we like to get that. That and the uh, pumpkin spice is good too. And then here we picked up some 100% all natural apple cider. They were sampling this out and I could not help myself. I love apple cider. Let me know if you guys like apple cider. My husband does not. So this is, actually I don't think my son does either. So this is probably gonna be all for me. Um, anyway, this is a local orchard here, so. I like to support the local local businesses. So got that as kind of an impulse buy. And then here, got two cans of peas. I'm gonna be using one of these in my pea salad. It's kind of a holiday pea salad that I make every Thanksgiving and Christmas. And then I got a couple of cans of beef broth, 50% less sodium. This is just to have on hand because they were 38 cents a piece on a coupon. Limit two, so got two. And then down here, I got some uh, mandarins. These are a really good deal too. I think they're $2.48 for a three pound bag, I believe this is. Yeah, three pound bag. So $2.48 for that. And then back here is the reason that we went in mainly. It was to get this Jenny O turkey breast. We're gonna be smoking this for Thanksgiving. We like to just smoke the turkey breast. Um, we've been doing that for several years now. So went in to get that. That was $1.48, I believe, a pound, which was, again, the cheapest that I've seen around here. So got that. I think it's 8.4 pounds. I'll put the video where my hubby shows smoke in this, just in case you're interested. Again, that's kind of how we've been doing our turkeys for the last several years. Anyway, that was it for my super one haul. I'll go ahead, put this stuff away and then get out the Alberts and stuff. And I'll go ahead and put a total on the screen for how much this was. Okay, I had to move my <laughs> air fryer off the counter here to get everything on here, but I've got everything on now. And we'll just start over here with the produce stuff. Got a couple of bunches of green onions. I've got one for a soup I'm doing and then another for a uh, breakfast casserole I'm gonna be doing. Um, got a English cuke. I like these to snack on with hummus, which I also got. And then also to snack on with hummus, got some celery stalks. And then I got just a bunch of celery, which apparently got injured there. Um, got this for my dressing I'm going to be making for Thanksgiving. And then I might also use a little bit of this in a Thanksgiving casserole I'm going to be doing with my turkey leftovers. Got a bag of iceberg garden salad mix. I get this almost every time I go to the store because I eat salads almost every day. And then here I got two bags of the romaine hearts. 
I'm gonna be doing my holiday pea salad that I do every Thanksgiving and Christmas. And I could probably get away with just one of these, but I'm probably going to use four hearts instead of the three. Cause I like to have a lot of romaine in that. And then I'll just eat the rest of it in salad. Down here I got some green peppers. A couple of those are gonna be for a Chipotle chicken copycat burrito bowl I'm gonna be doing. I had a viewer request to do a copycat of the Chipotle chicken. I've done the steak before, which I'll link up above and down below if you wanna check that out. So I'm gonna be doing the chicken now and I'm gonna just go ahead and do a meal prep out of that with burrito bowls. So I got two of those for that. And then I just got a couple others for, I am i can't remember now, what? <laughs> one is for the overnight English muffin breakfast casserole I'm doing and I'm, I can't remember what the other one is. But anyway, moving on, got some Autumn Glory apples. I tried these last time, they're really good. Got a really good flavor, so I got a few more. They didn't have any real good price on apples at either store I went to. Um, these were a little bit of a sale. I think they were $3.99, which still sounds really expensive, but picked up some of those fresh raspberries. Got just one orange, because I'm going to be doing a cranberry relish that was also a viewer request. So I got that for that. And then of course I need cranberries for my cranberry relish. So I'm gonna be using some of those for that. And then I'm also gonna be using those probably to do um, a dessert at some point. I like to just throw those in the freezer and they freeze really well for when you need to use them. Back there I got some bananas and then a five pound bag of Idaho gold potatoes. I'm gonna be doing probably mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving and then I'm also gonna be using some of those for my turkey um, leftover Thanksgiving casserole that I'm gonna be doing. Got a white onion, some avocados, and a couple red onions, and then a bag of sweet onions. I'll be using these. I almost always just buy the red. Uh, the white is for my pea salad, and then these I'm gonna be using in my stuffing and just some other different things that I'm gonna be making. I sometimes like to mix it up, but I do tend to just kind of get stuck on the red onions because those are my favorite. Got some more minced garlic, because I'm almost out because I use so much garlic. Got 16 ounces of this diced ham the Smithfield, and this is gonna be going in my overnight English muffin breakfast casserole as well. Got a couple dozen eggs. I wanted to get the big, I can't remember, a 60 count, I think it is that I typically buy, the, but they were all out, so just got a couple dozen. That'll probably hold me over till the next grocery trip. Got more of this Chobani Zero Sugar in the toasted coconut. I always say we love these. I also love the Oh, uh, what is it? The other brand. Dannon, the Dannon Light and Fit. But we've been eating a lot of these little cups kind of for desserts lately. And then here I got some heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna be making a regular full calorie pumpkin pie probably. And that's gonna be the only dessert I think we're gonna be doing for Thanksgiving. And I'm gonna make some whipped cream for that. Back here, got some zero sugar pumpkin spice. I got the other one at Kroger, but this one was on sale and they didn't have this flavor at Kroger. And like I think I said, I love this pumpkin spice flavor and this stuff lasts forever. So just pick this up. Yeah, it's good till May. So uh, anyway, kind of our backup creamer. Got some Sober Classic. This is still my favorite hummus. So I think I said earlier, got this for dipping my celery and cukes in. Got some more cheese, didn't need to get this, but it was on a digital coupon, I think for $5.99 for my son. He eats a lot of cheese, so I'm sure he'll get through that. Then we got some Swiss cheese. This is just an eight ounce block. This is for my pea salad I'm making. And then I got some thin sliced Swiss, and this is gonna be for some turkey cranberry sliders. I'm gonna be doing as a meal prep with our leftover turkey as well. I like doing different things with the leftover turkey instead of just eating it. So that gets boring. Um, got some of these Quaker apple cinnamon rice crisps. These I absolutely love. Um, and I was kind of surprised how much I did like these. They, um, here's the calories. They're 110 calories per serving. And I believe it's five points a serving. Um, but I usually will just eat no more than a serving. For a little sweet 
when I'm craving something sweet, kind of crunchy. These are really good. Picked up some stovetop. This is for my Thanksgiving casserole I'm gonna be doing with my turkey leftovers. And then for Thanksgiving, I just got the Mrs. Cubbinson's traditional stuffing. Back here, I picked up some more Heart Smart Bisquick. I've been making so many of the burrito bakes lately for lunch preps. Um, I'll link that up above and down below. I showed it recently in a community post. It's definitely one of my kind of longtime favorite WW recipes. It's just so good. It's such a comfort food and just, it's cheesy. It's just delicious. I love it. It's not the lowest in points but I always make it kind of fit into my day. So um, got that for that, because like I said, I'm out or almost out. I have just a little bit of the biscuit, Bisquick left. And I'm sure I'll be making another one of those bakes here in the near future. Got some chicken breast, um, just under three pounds. This is gonna be for my chicken burrito bowls that I'm gonna be doing. Got some cream of chicken, 98% fat-free Campbell's. Three of those and then a cream of mushroom, 98% fat free. I'm gonna be using two of the chicken in my Thanksgiving casserole and then either a chicken or a mushroom in the soup I'm gonna be doing. Some everything bagel seasoning blend. I was out and I wanna use some of this on my turkey sliders I'm gonna be doing. Here I meant to get just regular, no fat uh, refried beans. I somehow managed to grab green chili and lime. So I don't know, I've never tried that. It should be fine, but this will be for my burrito bakes most likely. That's usually what I use the refried beans for. I have, I should say a lot of different things I use it for, but that's mainly what I've been using refried beans in is those burrito bakes. Got some paste restaurant style salsa. That'll just be for the chicken burrito bowls. I like to put a little bit of that on if I don't make the pico that I sometimes make for it. Back here, I got some Smart Food white cheddar popcorn, 70 calories per serving. And then this one looked good, I've never tried this. Also 70 calories per serving is Dorito Nacho Cheese, Smart Food. I think I said Smart Pop on this other one. Smart Food popcorn. Um, back there, I got some bubbly in Blackberry. I really kinda like these. They're nice when you're wanting something that doesn't have caffeine you know, just flavored water. I also picked up some CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. This is the cleanser that I always use. I love CeraVe products. In fact, that's pretty much what I use for all my moisturizers and all that good stuff is the CeraVe stuff. And they had that 25% off, so it was actually cheaper than if I was to buy it somewhere like Amazon. Pick that up. Down here, my son has been loving these raisin bagels. He's been eating one almost every day, so I got him some more of those. And then I got him and my husband, some of this Healthy Loaf Cracked Nine Grain. And then here, got some Franz Hawaiian Rolls, dinner rolls. I'm gonna be using these. I don't know if I'm gonna do a double batch, but I got two because they were two for seven. Um, I'm gonna be using these for my turkey sliders. Got my son some popcorn shrimp. And then I also got him some of these veggie tots, broccoli and cheese. We'll see if he likes those in the air fryer. A little healthier air fried thing instead of nuggets and fries that he's usually doing in there. Um, got some riced veggies, cauliflower. I got two bags, these are on sale again, and these I'm gonna be using in my chicken burrito bowls. I like to make my own cauliflower rice because it is cheaper, but when this stuff is on sale, I will definitely pick it up, especially when it is the week of Thanksgiving. <laughs> and I'm gonna be doing all kinds of cooking this week I don't really wanna do as much next week, so I'm trying to get things as simple as possible for my meal preps after Thanksgiving. Picked up some whole blueberries, frozen, and then some dark sweet cherries, and berry mix. Uh, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries. I've been really kind of missing the frozen fruit. We used to buy frozen fruit all the time, and we haven't, because it's just so expensive. But these are on a little bit of a sale, so I picked those up for kind of a little sweet treat when I'm craving something sweet. And then back here, got some country style hash browns. These are for the potato soup, the crock pot potato soup I'm gonna be doing. And then I just got some tater tots just to have on hand. I might eventually do some type of tater tot casserole with that. And that was everything. My total was two something. I will put that on the screen. 
And then I'll also put the total for both stores on the screen. I don't think I spent too much, but I definitely spent, you know, a decent amount as I usually do when I go to the store. Uh, so now I will show you what we're going to be having this next couple weeks, what I'm planning on making. And please let me know on the things that I have asterisked. Um, those are what I'm planning on filming. If you guys want to see those, let me know if any of those sound good to you. I always like to know what you guys think sounds good. So please let me know about the asterisk stuff if you would like to see those filmed. So I mentioned the Thanksgiving casserole dinner with turkey leftovers. That's going to be a dinner prep. I also mentioned the crock pot potato soup. This was actually a request from my son. He loves this one. It's so easy and we love it too, but I love how easy it is. It's just to dump everything in the crock pot and I'll let it go type of soup. I do have a video on that already probably a couple different times I've showed that. So I will find one in link where I show that. The turkey cranberry sliders for lunch prep with the turkey leftovers I mentioned. And then I also mentioned the Chipotle chicken copycat burrito bowls for lunch prep. I think I mentioned the overnight English muffin breakfast casserole. That's going to be a breakfast prep and then the cranberry relish that was a viewer request. So that's everything I've got planned to be making this next couple of weeks, along with, of course, Thanksgiving dinner, which will have leftovers and all that good stuff from that. For Thanksgiving dinner, I had mentioned we're doing a smoked turkey. We're doing my holiday pea salad, stuffing or dressing, um, mashed potatoes, doing my mother-in-law's recipe for homemade rolls. Those are the best rolls. I absolutely love those. I think I've filmed those in the past. So I will, I'll link all the stuff that we're having for dinner that I've, that I have filmed in the past in case you're curious. Um, I am going to make a homemade pumpkin pie for dessert. And then the sweet potato casserole and green bean casserole that I did videos on recently. What I ended up doing with those was just sticking them in the freezer. So I'm going to pull them back out for Thanksgiving and have those. And I think that is it. So not a whole lot. We're trying to be as good as we can, you know, as far as what we're eating for Thanksgiving. Um, although usually the holidays, we kind of don't really worry about the dieting as much, but I'm curious to know what you guys are going to be doing for Thanksgiving. Are you going to be trying to stay on track? Are you going to just not worry about it? Let me know in the comments. Cause like I said, I'm always curious to see what other people do. We were kind of doing a little mix this year of trying to stay on track and not worrying about it. But anyway, that was my Thanksgiving slash next two week haul. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you have a very happy Thanksgiving. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.